For years, the question was, should we use Kubernetes? And in 2025, that's settled. The only question that matters now is how do we operate it without losing our minds? And how do we get more sleep? I'm David Flanagan, the founder of the Rockwood Academy, and for over a decade I have lived in the Kubernetes trenches. I've run it on bare metal while working at Equinix and before. <laughs> I've run it on bare metal and even helped others while working at Equinix. I've defined it as code while working at Pulumi and fixed hundreds and hundreds of broken clusters with my series clustered. Now all of that scar tissue has led me to some very strong opinions. And today, I'm going to tell you why I believe that Pallet from Spectral Cloud is the answer. Now, my perspective isn't from a textbook, it's from experience. I've learned the hard way that the stack isn't just Kubernetes. In fact, we all know this. It's an operating system. It's a CNI, a CSI. And it's dealing with cascading failures at any layer within the whole system. But of course, the real enemy is at the root of all of this, inconsistency. A tiny config difference or drift, a manual change that drifted from Git, that's how you get snowflake clusters, and snowflakes are fragile. Ask yourself, how quickly could you rebuild production from scratch, starting now? The only sane way to manage this chaos is with a declarative, continuously reconciled model that manages the entire stack. This is why Pallet resonated with me. Its cluster profiles are the practical implementation of this declarative dream that I have in my head. Think of it as a single version control blueprint for your entire cluster. Everything from the operating system, the Kubernetes version, the CNI, the CSI, and even all of your add-ons like Prometheus, Falco, etc. You get to define your stack. This directly attacks the Snowflake problem. The profiles are built from packs, version components that understand their dependencies. Pallet can even stop you from building a broken cluster before you try to build it. But where Pallet truly shines is day two. And we all know the hardest part of operating any Kubernetes cluster is day two and beyond. The endless cycle of patching, upgrades, and scaling is where most platform teams fail. Imagine a critical OS vulnerability. Manually patching a fleet of clusters is a multi-day, multi-week, sometimes months affair. And sometimes companies just don't update or patch at all. Even the Kubernetes project had to slow down their release cycle to accommodate the enterprise. But with Pallet, the workflow is transformative. You update the OS pack in your cluster profile, Pallet will detect the drift, and with one click, <laughs> one click, it orchestrates a safe rolling upgrade across your entire fleet. And this isn't even just for patches, it's for Kubernetes upgrades, and even rolling back a bad deployment. It turns the most terrifying operations into manageable, low-risk, automatic workflows that get us, me, you, everyone, more sleep. Now, my preference for this model is based on the scars from operating Kubernetes at scale over many, many years. The industry needs to move beyond just deploying Kubernetes to truly operating it. And for me, a declarative full-stack approach that is continually reconciled is the only model worth following. And right now, Spectral Cloud's Pallet is the best implementation of that vision I have ever seen. Now, full disclosure, they are a partner supporting the Raw Code Academy, which helps keep this content free. But they do not buy my opinion. When a product aligns this perfectly with my vision based on my experience, I honestly feel it's my duty to tell you about it. So if you're tired of fighting snowflakes and want to manage Kubernetes with a composable SANE model, go check out Pallet. It's the only way I'll be running my clusters from now on. See you next time.